Welcome back. In this video, I will demonstrate how we can make the event names be more descriptive when they get displayed on the calendars in our Event Calendar Maker Excel template. So now I have the template open. The only thing I have made changes to is to add the, an event type called meeting and I've chosen the green color for that event type. And now I'm going to go to the events sheet and we're going to enter the event and see how it gets displayed on the calendar. So I'm going to call this a team meeting and the event type, we have to choose one of the available event types. And then I'm going to make this a one time event that happens on January 7th. And so the frequency type would be one time. And now let's go to the calendar. So let's use the monthly calendar, for example, monthly with events, and we will see that it appears as team meeting. And now we want to add a location of that meeting or the um, time for that meeting associated with this. So in the events sheet, you already have optional columns where you can describe the event and provide a start time and other couple of extra columns, but these will only appear in the daily sheet, the daily with events calendar. So if, for example, you want the location or the time, start time and end time to appear on the monthly with events, one trick you could do is to basically change the event name to be more descriptive. For example, here I can just type in 7 to 9 a.m. and building A. So if I change the event name, then if I go to the monthly with events, now I can see that the the event name is a lot more descriptive, which will give me the location and the time. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you have a long meeting name or the location, it might be tricky to squeeze that in in a decent font size when you print the monthly sheets. So keep that in mind. You can abbreviate the name. So instead of writing meeting, for example, you could just say MTG, um, things like that, where you can abbreviate the words in order to make them fit on the monthly um, calendar. So this is a quick video to explain how you can just use the event name to get the location and the time, start time and end time of each of your events to show up on the monthly with events. So this will also show up on the yearly with events. When you go to the yearly with events sheet, you can see that the event name now will get listed with the additional information. So if you have any questions about the template, uh, or specifically about the little trick that we did with this video, please leave them in the comments and I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching the video.